everyone. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Clouds. Oh, listen to that. Beautiful music. Beautiful music for the background here. Great. Well, guess what? We are going to start a quick unit on literary elements. One moment, please. I love the music, but I can't hear myself speak. Well, as I said, a quick unit on literary elements, in other words, elements of fiction, so that we can get ready for, guess what? Our very first reading. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. I know I am. Do you have paper out? A pen or pencil? Please get your supplies, because you're going to be taking notes today. Get excited. It's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Okay, let me get my pointer. Mm. It's always a dilemma. What color? Ew. Okay, I have decided on black for today. We're going to start right over here. As it says, day one. There will be another day. Okay, title, literary elements. Please make sure that you write this down. Literary elements having to do with poetry, plays, short stories, novels, whatever, whatever, except for manuals, you know, how to fix the computer, the TV, the car, mm -mm. no literary elements there. Okay, are you ready? Let's tackle our first element, and it's the easiest one. It is setting. What is setting all about? Anybody want to venture a guess? Yes, I know. It's right behind me. See, I'm trying to block it. I'm trying to block. I'm trying to block. So, yes, setting is all about time. Are we talking about, ooh, look at that clock in my watch. Ooh, it's around 1030, right? It's about there. Is it about that? Or could it be about morning? January. Hmm. Winter. A romantic period in England. Yes, indeed, it could be. Okay, let's put an example up on the board. For time, we could say morning, winter. Yes, it can be 1030, but it's not limited to that. Okay, winter, romantic period. Got it? Make sure you're taking notes. You never know, there could be a test. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Ooh, looking forward to it. Okay. Also, part of the definition for setting is your location. Most of us know it as place, but some of us know it as location. So yes, guess what? It could be the kitchen. It could be the beach. It could be Paris. It could be the parking lot. Those are all places. Oh my goodness, I hear phone ringing. Oh well, <laughs> in the middle of class too, okay. All places, all locations. So, let's do some examples. Kitchen. Beach. Believe it or not, the school is a setting. Paris. France. Yes, indeed. Okay, we have that. Okay. Make sure you write it a little bigger on your paper <laughs> so that you can read it later. Okay, any questions about that? So when people are writing their books, their stories, their poems, they tend to have a setting. It could even be space, Mars. That could be the setting of a great science fiction story. Okay, now we got that. Now we're going to start with theme. Yay! Yay! Theme versus... Come on over. Moral. We tend to get those two confused. 
Let's try not to, because there is a difference. There is a slight difference. Okay, so your theme is the main idea, the main point. Why is this person writing? What's he trying to tell us? And it can be really hard with poetry, especially if you have a four-liner. There's not much to work with, but you can still figure out the theme. Novels may have tons of themes. One minute is about love. Next minute is about hate. Next minute is about war. Okay? Tons, 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 tons. It just happens that way. Okay, but you've got to think, what is the point? What's he trying to say? But don't just stop with the word war. What's he saying about war? Examples. War is destructive. Don't just tell me. Oh, the theme is war. Okay, that's good. What about war? Is war good? Does it help us? What about it? War is destructive. Here's another example. Friendship is important. Friendship is important. Don't just tell me friendship. What about friendship? Tell me it's important. Do you understand? Do you have any questions with that? Remember, you've got my email address, so please c contact me if you're not understanding. Okay? Now, moral. Theme versus moral. The moral is the lesson taught. And usually it's a life lesson. And quite often, the characters are, guess what? Guess what? Animals. Quite often they're animals because they may be what we call fables. And fables tend to tell morals. They give us some kind of idea about life. That if you're too slow, oh, oh well, you're going to miss out on that pumpkin pie. If you rush, oh well, you may be doing the, the assignment 20 times. Moral. That's the lesson taught. So make sure you understand there is a difference. Again, the key is, quite often, your characters are the animals. Yes, you will have a horse talking. Hi, I'm Mr. Ed. Yes, he will talk. And believe it or not, there used to be a show with a horse talking. Mr. Ed, by the way. Okay, isn't that great? Mr. Ed, talking horse. Yeah, no, 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 no moral. Okay. So do we understand? Oh, and keep this in mind. One sentence. Your theme and even the moral should be what? How many sentences? One. Just one. I don't want to read a theme where you're giving me a whole paragraph to tell me that one sentence. Okay? So be sure you understand that. It's truly important. Are there any questions? These are probably of all the elements, and there's so many, there's no way we can tackle all the elements out there. We're going to hit the highlights. So on day two, we'll hit the other highlights. So these are the easy ones to understand. Setting, time, location, or place. Theme, main idea, point. No, it is not what happened. We haven't gotten to that element. So be sure you understand that. And now comes the assignment for today. Let me make sure we got that. Hold on. Okay. Okay, here we go. I need you to choose a favorite book or story or even movie. And then I want you to tell me the theme of that book, of that story. If you want to do poem, that's fine. Of the poem, of the movie. What is the theme? Be sure you include the title. Okay? That way I know the title of the book. Okay. Now, keep this in mind. Books. Underline. Movie. Underline. Story, poem, 
Quotation marks. Make sure you've got that. Any questions about that? No? Okay. I wish you a super, super, super day. Till next time. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I'm still here. It is due today. This assignment. Today. Send it to me immediately when you're done. Now, bye-bye.